Hi, I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, globe artichokes, crop that I love growing, and, um, and do, then do a couple of recipes with them. So when you get your artichokes, first thing to decide is, is the stalk edible? I mean, if you've got a really nice juicy one like that with a fat stalk, and if you cut it, the knife goes through very easily, it's worth keeping the stalk. If you find yourself with one like that, which looks a bit more mature, it's a bit more dried up, it's tending to have a thinner stalk relative to the uh, artichoke and you try and cut it and it just doesn't go through. It's really not worth preparing the stalk. Just save yourself the time and just cut it off at the base and throw it away. Uh, but the classic way, if you do have a nice juicy artichoke, uh, to prepare it um, is to peel off the outer leaves, just going around in a circle and you just keep on peeling them off until you get down to something that looks pretty pale. Um, as you go in, they get paler, and as with you know, many vegetables, the paler stuff tends to be more tender. And again, quite a good indication is when you come to prepare it is, is how easy the knife goes through it. So they do get progressively more tender as you go down, and depending on the recipe, you might cut it there, but for this one that I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it here. And there you go. And the next thing, you've got to peel the stalk. So you can use a potato peeler to do this, or you can just use the knife just taking off the fibrous bit on the outside. And then we need to get rid of this, this tough green bit where the, the leaves have been attached and they're just peeling that off again with the knife and you end up with something like that. I guess it depends a little bit how fussy you are about there being a little bit of tough in your artichoke that you may end up spitting out. Personally, it doesn't bother me, but I can't help noticing that it bothers most people. And then it depends what you're going to do with it. I mean, if you're going to sort of fry them, as we are for the fettuccine recipe, you then cut it down the middle. You then have to make a judgment. There's this furry bit in the middle. You can see that this is, it's basically an unopened flower bud. Uh, and these will be the, um, I think they're the stamens or the stigmas. And if, they, if it's developed a furry bit in there, you can just go in with the knife and take out the furry bit. Everything else is edible, and it really doesn't matter if you leave a little bit. That bit's called the choke, so do that on both sides. Depending how you're going to cook them, but we want them all to be about the same size, so I'm going to cut each half into probably quarters, I think, through the stem. And there you go, those, those are ready to fry, poach, boil. I mean, lots of things you can do. Something like that, if you just really put it in some olive oil and massage it, um, and leave it to soak and then massage it again. They are really good on the barbecue. You just put them face down. Probably when the barbecue is getting a bit cool and then turn them over, maybe 20 minutes and turn them over, maybe put them back again. And they're just delicious eaten like that. If you're trying to eat less meat, they are a really good meat <laughs> substitute. Uh, and, and they sort of perform that function in a meal if you are a bit of a carnivore, but trying to eat less meat. When, when you're prepping the artichokes, um, the cuts will go brown very quickly. In order to stop doing them doing that, the best thing is just to squeeze a bit of lemon into some water and then you um, just plunge them into the water and that, that'll keep them um, looking nice and fresh until you're ready to cook them. So now you've prepped your artichokes, you've done the, the hard bit. Um, we're going to braise them in maybe a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, a splash of wine, half a glass of wine probably. In go your artichokes, so I'm just gonna shake off that acidulated water in they go and then we've got to just to make them braise properly i'm just, i haven't got a good lid for this pan so i'm afraid i'm gonna to have to use some tin foil over the top uh, just to seal that in depends on the artichokes and the size you've cut them to but i'm guessing that's going to need 20 minutes right so five or ten minutes before your artichokes are done just going to pop in some sliced uh, clove of garlic and some chili the chili's optional I like chili and just about everything, so in that goes. Just going to give it a bit of depth of flavour. I think I forgot to put salt in earlier, so we'll have a pinch of salt as well. Another 10 minutes or so, five or 10 minutes, and they'll be ready. When, when your artichokes are, are tender, which is probably going to be um, 15, 20 minutes, and they are just about there, um, I'm just going to throw in, just because the garden peas go really well with with um, artichokes and um, they are actually in season at the moment so I'm just going to chuck some of them in. That's definitely optional. And even more optional, I was down on the, on the river yesterday um, with my son um, foraging for samphire and we picked some of this. I'm going to chuck that in. I don't expect you to have that at home but just in case you do, it does also go um, really well. 
It's going to give that a bit of a stir around. Almost there now. And then in goes um, some cream. And we're just going to let that loosen up a bit with the artichokes for a bit. And the last thing will be the blue cheese. I'm using uh, Crockton Bishop, which is, I think, a fantastic uh, Stilton. Just going to take off the rind. And that's probably, actually, that's probably twice what we need. I'm just going to crumble the blue cheese in. When the um, Stilton has just melted in, it has just about then. The classic for this recipe would be to use fettuccine. Um, didn't have any today, so we're using tagliatelle. And that'll be fine. And just stir it in. Let the pasta get well coated with that lovely sauce. And there we have it. Blue cheese and artichoke pasta with a few peas and, uh, and samphire thrown in. This, I have to say, looks absolutely fantastic. It is one of my favorite dishes at this time of year, cooked with uh, some of my favorite vegetables. Well, of course, I would say it, but that is just fantastic. The slight bitterness of the, of the artichokes and the blue cheese goes really well, and the sweetness of the peas and samphire. Fab. <laughs>